standard molecular test which includes RT-PCR, CRISPR and RT-LAMP and that costs between 400 to 500 rupees and you get the report in about four hours with this RT-PCR test and I think by the two years of pandemic everyone knows about this test. Then the second is the rapid molecular testing system which are the closed systems and they cost between 1200 to 1500 to 2500. These are the ones which are faster than the RT-PCR tests and you get the results in less than two hours, maybe one, one and a half hours or so. And there are the CBNAT, uh, the Molbio, TrueNAT, Abbott ID, Thermo Fisher, and you know, various other ones are there. So the examples are there. Then you have the lateral flow tests and there are two of them. The lateral flow tests, the most widely used across the world and also recommended by WHO for Omicron is the rapid antigen test which has a price between 50 rupees to 100 rupees and are available in plenty in the country. And then there's the home antigen tests which are becoming more and more popular now and several thousands are being consumed now every day in the last week or so and they cost anywhere between 250 to 300 rupees. So four tests, standard molecular test, rapid molecular test, closed systems and the lateral flow test which are the rapid antigen tests and the home antigen tests. Now just want this slide to explain when does one become positive and one what is the so if you compare the molecular test with the lateral flow test which are the rapid antigen or the home antigen test they are marked uh, with green when they detect from day three to day eight they are able to detect it after exposure so if you start to the beginning of the curve from day zero you get exposed so the first day you will test negative whatever test you do your ex it takes time for the virus to grow in your system so that is known as the latent period and so from day three onwards it will be detectable in the lateral flow tests and will be detectable up to day eight which is the infectious period day eight meaning after one day that is why the discharge policy and all the home isolation policies are focusing on seven day discharge and that is how it explains the whole uh, physiology or the pathology of the whole system now here I just want to remember that long red line which is detectable by PCR that continues to be positive even after day 8 because certain RNA particles which are non-infective here remember certain RNA particles which are non-infective will continue to be shed and will continue to be the or cause the RT-PCR test to be positive so for Omicron what has become the backbone is the lateral flow test with, uh, with the PCR test also serving as confirmatory at some places where the are uh, uh, symptomatic individuals when the lateral flow test is negative then you may have to do a RT-PCR test and I will come to that algorithm. So I hope this is clear in terms of how the virus is the curve, the black curve, how the virus load rises and then gradually falls rises from day 2, goes up to a peak on day 5 and then gradually falls by day 7 or 8 and, and then peters away. So that is to understand it. Now in terms of the diagnostic kits that have been validated and available by the ICMR system and the 24 validation centers across the country over the last two years, we have validated a total of uh, evaluated more than 1598 products and uh, indigenous are 580 out of the 780 47 that have been approved and the products are available are nearing 2000 and uh, they are available on gem uh, these are by different vendors available on gem whether whether it be 